Hello, my reading friends, it's Ani. Thank you for coming to see me. If you like reading stories with me, be sure to subscribe and make sure to watch all the way through because I'm going to do some shout outs at the end. Are you ready for a story? Well, we have a really fun book today about some pets who discover what it's like to get pampered. Do you think they're going to like it? Let's find out as we read Piggy and Pepper Get Pampered. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Annie's house. Piggy and Pepper Get Pampered Written by Hannah Rose Brown Illustrated by Sophie Mitchell There once was a dog that lived with a pig, and this is the story of the adventures they lived. On a rainy afternoon by the California Bay, Piggy and Pepper set out to play. They ran outside to have some fun, jumping in puddles one by one. Big puddles of rain and mud on the ground, splishing and splashing and rolling around. Soon they were filthy from head to tail. They ran in the house, leaving a trail. Mud on the sofa, mud on the chairs, mud on the drapes, and even the stairs. It's off to the groomers to get you both clean, said their owner, Miss Tillywink. But what could this mean? They looked at each other and started to worry. Where are we going in such a big hurry? They covered their eyes with their ears and their paws. But when they arrived, oh my, what they saw! Inside, the shop was all pretty and pink, with treats at the door and smoothies to drink. Then suddenly they jumped into a polka dot tub, filled with bubbles and bubbles and a strawberry scrub. They snuggled in robes and a big puffy chair with fancy pink curlers all up in their hair. Piggy ate treats of cookies and scones while Pepper delighted on bonbons and bones. They were cleaner than ever with a sparkle and shine. Oh, what a marvelous, fantastical time! This wasn't so bad. In fact, it was grand. So Piggy and Pepper devised a new plan. Miss Tillywink was thrilled to pick up her pets. But once they were home, she had major regrets. Piggy and Pepper took off in a dash, into the mud and then into the trash. Spoodles and oodles and baskets of clothes, flying caboodles of ribbons and bows. Swirling and whirling, dust clouds and grime, drips and drops of syrup and slime, sugar and honey and cookies galore. Oh, what a mess on Miss Tillywink's floor. How many ways could they get unclean? As dirty as ever, if you know what I mean. So back to the groomers the pig and pup went right where they hoped they would be sent. Into the bath, then powdered and puffed, all brushed and combed and even fluffed. Their toenails were polished as they sat in their seats, while both of them ate mountains of treats. Piggy and Pepper did this again and again, until Miss Tillywink caught on to their plan. So she took Piggy and Pepper outside to the hose, where she washed them all over from their head to their toes. The water was icy. The wind was so chilly. Nothing about this was fluffy or frilly. So as Piggy and Pepper were about to faint, they decided it was better to be clean as a saint. That was until... They discovered the brushes and paint. I think they liked being pampered a little too much. What do you think? It was a fun story, wasn't it? 
Okay, let's do some shout outs. Today they're going out to Ava in Memphis, Tennessee, Lily in Bowling Green, Kentucky, Maddox and Melani in New Jersey, Ezra, Athena, and Castiel in Troutdale, Oregon, Maddie, Ruthie, and Maris in Omaha, Nebraska, Madeline Rivera in New York, Blythe and Chase in Fairfield, Connecticut, Autumn in Tooele, Utah, Natalie, Genevieve, and Juliet in Phoenix, Arizona, as well as Aiden and Brennan. Hello to everyone. I just love our great big reading family. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.